Guys, I've been ripping and running all over the place, to and fro, going up and down the earth, all over the place, busy. I just came back right now from Las Vegas. I had to go out there and do a few things. One, I ended up taking my little brother. He was living with me here. He was, uh, I have a little brother, he's handicapped. I was caring for him for the past three years. Um, I ended up taking him down to stay with my sister. She's now the guardian of him now. So I had to go out there and take care of that business. We decided it would be more suitable for him to be out there. So, you know, after three years of him being here, we ended up switching and uh, bringing him down that way because it would be much better and more suitable for him. Other than that, while I was down there in Vegas, I met up with my guy, Carlos. We met up, man, we had a bunch of business meetings. We had a, you know, we figured that we'd knock that out while I'm down there um, and take care of all of that. So we have a lot of things that we're putting into place right now. And the thing that I wanna let you guys know is we have launched the Aquaponics God Store. You understand me? The Aquaponics God Store is now launched. So you guys can go over there, check out um, some of the things that are in the um, store. Um, we have it all put together right now for you guys. We're still working on our product list. We're gonna have a lot of more, a lot more products added to the list um, as we continue going right now. But we have a, a selection right now that you can go check, check out. And if you need any of that, you can go ahead and get it there. So it's the AquaponicGodStore.com. We're trying to make this the best. Not trying. We are gonna make this the best aquaponic store in the world that's the mission right now and we're gonna get the best prices so we're gonna be fighting for you guys all over the place fighting for you guys giving you guys the best prices and the best deal so that's our mission with that store so you guys can go over there check that out um, when you get a chance right now but other than that oh that's also what I wanted to talk about the aquaponic God manual Woo, that thing is spicy right now man oh just talking about it right now Woo, spicy man I, you guys saw the ad. A lot of you guys seen the ad. Y'all saw the video that I released it for free. Now, that was last week. It's probably like seven or eight days ago when I had first released it. So the first three days, everything was working fine, but it's just so many people that was in there getting the book that the software company server crashed. Crazy. So we were, we've been down. A lot of people have been emailing me, finding out, trying to find out how to get it and stuff like that. We've been down for the past six, like eight days, I think. I think it's been eight days. We've been down. They've been trying to fix it, and they finally got it fixed. Finally figured out what the problem was, but it crashed. So many people was in there grabbing books at the thing. I don't know. What it, I don't know what it did. All I know is it was down. So now it's back up. Um, and you guys want to catch the link? Catch the link or catch the ad when it shows on the video. And you guys go ahead and get you a free copy of the Aquaponic God Manual before I change my mind again. You understand me before I change my mind again. So get it right now. I can't, I want to get it into all you guys' hands. So you guys go ahead and grab it free. Just play for the shipping and handling, and that'll take care of all of that. When you see the, the ad rolling around here somewhere, go ahead and uh, click on it and um, and go get your free copy of the Aquaponic God Manual because you're going to love it. And you know, it's just something that I said. I'm going to give out to the people, and um, I know it's going to help a lot of you guys out. So with that being said, man, we're back in aquaponics paradise now. It's time to get back to work, baby. I got things that I don't even know what's going on over here in the, in the um, I haven't even walked in here yet, in the shed. See the shed right here. This is where the project that we're working on right now, working on getting this, um, this nursery set up going. So um, I don't even remember where I left off. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't have a clue where I left off. I can't remember, I'm gonna have to go in here and figure out um, what I have to do next. So that's what we got going for today. I need to get this project up and running, up, and going so you guys can see how this thing ru runs. I wanna walk you guys through the whole entire process of growing the fish and plants. We're doing this thing, so let's get started. All right, we got the fish here. They're still in here. Still in here. Moving around, man. These guys are starving, man. So let's go ahead and get these guys some food. Get these guys some food in here, man. Look at them. The past few days, they've probably been just eating fish boo-boo. That's crazy, but look at King Kong. He's getting big over there. He's getting big over there, look at him. All right, so the first thing that I remember that I had to work on was taking this off of this sump tank that I'm gonna be using in here. So I had to go and buy one of these, um, I don't know what this thing is, man, a key, a star, 
these star bit things, man, you know what it is, man. You guys out there, you got you smart guys out there. I don't remember what it's called. <clears throat> yeah, so I had to take these off, and <clears throat> I want I need to get rid of this space here. See the space here? This is taking up height, and I want to get rid of this, and I just want it to be right here where the water's at. I don't need this extra space here for the sump. It's messing up my dimensions, man. Messing up my dimensions, man. Alright, so what we got here is we ended up taking off the bottom of the sump. We ended up taking that off and then end up plugging a hole in here and placing a unicell in here for this uh, piece of PVC pipe to connect over to the pump. Now, right now, I uh, have to go to Home Depot because this part right here, I need to have a rubber, I want to get a rubber coupling to connect between this piece and the uh, pump. You know, something similar to that. I'm going to get one of those and I don't have a one inch one to go on there right now. So I'm going to get ready to head to Home Depot. <laughs> um, this wasn't glued on, but I wouldn't um, get ready to home, head to Home Depot and then um, go ahead and finish configuring this. Damn, I need two of these. All right, so I got the outlet hooked up. Coming here, boom, to the pump. Now, this is where I made a mistake, and I absolutely forgot that I didn't have the rest of the material. I need to have, head right back to Home Depot again. This is the way it goes. And I need to grab two inch pipe for the drain, the return line. So I thought I had it. I have the T here that I need to use for it, but I do not have the pipe. I thought I had the pipe, so I need to make that trip right now um, so I can get this get this done. So back to Home Depot it is. All right, we're back. Got the two inch pipes with us. So hopefully we can get in here and finish this return line before it gets too dark. So I'm gonna jump back in here. Man, I'm pumped to get this thing up and going. I know there's gonna be some babies coming soon. I could just feel it. So let's get all this stuff together before these the baby fry end up coming out or the fish end up getting pregnant so let's get to it all right guys let's do a quick update um, on what we got going on right now so I got a chance to finish the return line and get everything pretty much plumbed up not all of it but the majority of it let me show you what it looks like real quick all right, let's go back here okay boom so we have it connected going on the, uh, across the back and it's coming down here and it's going also going across that way catching the um the outlet from that last tank which is going to come down there all the water's coming here and it's going to come back down and then i have it connected to that t-valve and to the pump and also over there to grab extra water coming in and prevent all the solids from leaching out so that's pretty much what we got right now i'm going to finish the rest of it tomorrow in the morning uh, i'm just going to drill some holes in here and then pretty much connect the outlets here and just, you know, just sit them in there and let the water pretty much flow all the way back. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm also gonna connect the, connect the blower. I'm talking loud because it's raining outside if you guys haven't noticed. But um, I'm gonna connect the blower tomorrow and uh, knock out, that'll be it, man. Pretty much that, the system will probably be finished tomorrow. Um, at least the fish portion of it, because I'm still gonna hook up a nursery um, I'm going to make it an aquaponics system, but I'm going to hook up a nursery to grow seedlings on this as well. So tomorrow should be the last, yeah, that should be the last, no, no, I'm the no, 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 one more day after that. I got to plumb the water line from the well all the way over here and connect it together. So it may be done tomorrow. I might have it done tomorrow. It's possible, but um, I'm, I'm, all, I'm not 100% sure because I still have other things. I'm running in and out of the house, taking care of other things. So... Um, it's a bunch going on, but right now I have a major headache, man. Ooh, I got a headache, man. Right around here. Right around the eye, man. Major headache. So, I got still got stuff to do when I get in the house. Right now, I think it's like 9.30 p.m. Let me see. Uh, oh, 9.18. 9.18 p.m. I still got stuff to do. I'll probably be up till, I don't know, maybe 1, 2, 3, whatever. But, you know... You got to do what you have to do to survive, to eat and survive out here in this world. You got to do what you got to do. Headache, no headache, whatever it is, no excuses. So with that, here's a little update. You know, you guys can see it. 
it's coming along it's coming along still so a few things that need to be done to it the pumps here you guys seen that earlier and just hook that up connect it to that and that'll pretty much be it man that's that's it i'm pumped to get started back on this i hate that i have a headache right now but you know it's uh whatever it's, it is what it is but that's it right now i keep you guys posted i'll be back out here tomorrow to feed the people with more aquaponic information Woo!